Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life, and this is a surprise. AT&T quietly launches its official fixed wireless access product. So I'll leave a link to this in the description down below. This is the official AT&T website, so you guys could check it out for yourselves. So new, new AT&T Internet Air. It's going to be called AT&T Internet Air. It's your turn to go faster. A better, faster, more secure internet is waiting for you. Our new Internet Air is delivered over the reliable AT&T wireless network with faster speeds you've been waiting for. And then below it says get started, call call this number. So what I have been told is this is only, uh, only available to DSL customers at this time. So you have to be an existing DSL customer, log into your account, and if it's available at your address, you can sign up for this. Right, there's still going to be some uh, apartment complexes, some areas where C band is not available. There, you likely won't have access to this product. Now, this is a one simple plan, one simple price go to market strategy. It's going to be priced at $55 plus tax, no overage fees, no price increase after 12 months, no annual contract, none of that. $55 plus tax, priced uh, competitively, if you will. Right, T Mobile. T-Mobile's is at $50, and I think Verizon's is uh, around the same price, right? Verizon and T-Mobile's uh, do get cheaper, but you have to bundle it with wireless. So Verizon, you get the price point of $25 if you're bundled with wireless, and T-Mobile, you get it with $30. Maybe in the future, AT&T does something similar. Right now, we don't know. But as it stands right now, if you are a DSL customer... Let's say you don't even use AT&T for wireless. You can get this new fixed wireless access product for $55. If I remember correctly, when I had DSL, it's right around the same price as what you paid when you were on DSL. I was getting the 50 down, 10 up. This product, if it's backed by C-Band and DoD, should be giving you faster speeds. They're... They're advertising from 40 megabits to about 140. I don't know if that 140 is truly the the cap or if it can go faster depending, but that's the that's the average range of speed that AT&T is anticipating you'll be able to get. So, very interesting. They launched this very quietly. They talked about it at the earnings call that they were going to launch it, but didn't know it was going to be this soon. But I've been hearing rumblings that the router has been uh by the way, Speaking about the router, this router looks much nicer in my opinion. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be better for your for whatever setting you have on the inside. I think this fits very well with any of your home appliances and and uh, your um, you know whatever color your cabinets are, whatever the case may be, right? Your TV stand. I think this is going to fit very nicely. It looks much better in my opinion, more more modern, more technology advanced um especially the t-mobile ones t-mobile ones they look cheap um i know there's you know the newer ones may be a bit better but this my opinion i saw the video there's a video here below um if you guys want to tune into that i'll like i said i'll leave a link to this but this 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 router looks way better in my opinion that's just my opinion you might think otherwise but leave your comments in the comment section down below so just some closing thoughts. I think this is the right approach from AT&T. I think once they see this working in, 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 in the field and they they can the engineers can track, maybe they, they start scaling this. But for now, it's just available for existing DSL customers that would like to jump in to this fixed wireless access product. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.